We're continuing our conversations with local police departments on their community involvement to mark National Police Week. And this morning we are joined by Chief Rex Ingram from the Caldwell Police Department to learn more about the department's role in the Caldwell community and the good things that are <laughs> happening with Caldwell PD. So let's start out, Chief, with welcoming you this early. Thank you for good coming. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me here. I sincerely oh, appreciate it. Well, we're oh, glad pleasure. you're here. What does community involvement mean to the Caldwell Police Department? You guys do showcase a lot of that on your social media and you kind of get to see how the officers are getting out and about and involved. So we have completely rebranded and re-imaged what social media looks like in community engagement in Caldwell. Mm -hmm. uh, this is nothing new. Uh, officers are going out there every day and engaging the community, but what we're doing now is giving them a voice and just highlighting all the hard work that they're doing every day. Yeah, yeah. and here we see some of those pictures right there of, of all the stuff, your involvement. Can you talk to us about some of these events and, and what it means for you to get out there and create these relationships with just folks in the community. Absolutely. So one of the main things that we're doing is really humanizing law enforcement officers, mm -hmm. yeah. especially in Canyon County where, where historically, you know, there's been kind of an us versus them mentality. So yeah. we're getting out there, we're doing shop with the cop, we're doing coffee with the cop, uh, we're doing a lot of proactive community engagement and actually going to schools and, and really engaging those community members because Law enforcement is predicated in public safety on the relationship with our stakeholders and our community members. Mm -hmm. And when you came here, that was your goal, was to just revamp and recreate the culture, correct? Absolutely, and, and you know, part of, <clears throat> part of what I try to do is being visible, approachable, accessible, and responsive 24 hours a day. So mm -hmm. I'll never turn down a community member. I'm out there with the community. You know, we, we're really advocating for victims' rights. We're advocating for um, you know, just voices in the community to be heard. Mm -hmm. And really that's what it's about. And the message goes down all the way through the, through the, the rank and file um, to the lowest level. And we're hiring the best and the brightest police officers to get out there and engage the community. All Boy, right. that is awesome. You know, growing up around here, Caldwell wasn't necessarily a, a destination, but it is now. I mean, you just look yes, at downtown. It's, it's really an exciting changed. place to be, a bunch yeah. of cool stuff going on, really a, a family type community. Um, Talk about your work as the city continues to grow and, and really blossom, kind of keeping up with that growth, not only with hiring officers, but just to get in that culture. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, it's a city leadership team that really is making this, this magic happen. And mm -hmm. it's all the appointed officials, the elected officials. And people do not want to come to Caldwell unless they feel safe. And so right. part of my mission is to ensure that our officers understand the value of public safety mm -hmm. because without them protecting and serving all day long, people aren't gonna come there and enjoy the magical things that are happening in Caldwell. All the magic, all the growth <laughs> at Indian Creek Plaza. Everyone yes. loves it there and that has been such an asset to Caldwell. Let's talk about, uh, it's National Police Week, obviously that's why you're here, and what's going on today and tomorrow to commemorate sure. that? So I took a contingency of 10 officers to Washington, D.C. Uh, for the National Police Officers. We saw the pictures, yeah. That is awesome. It was a very sobering and humbling experience. Last night was the candlelight vigil at the yes. Idaho uh, Peace Officer Memorial. Today at 10 o'clock is the actual service. Uh, last year, we put there were 443 police officers that were killed in the line of duty. Yes. Uh, we're putting two on the wall today. And then tomorrow at 2 p.m., I will be speaking with Mr. Josh Hurwitt, uh, Senator Lakey, and um, Colonel uh, Wills from ISP at the Canyon County Memorial at 2 p.m. tomorrow. All right, so that's at 2 tomorrow. Are you guys going to have that on your Facebook Live, or how are you going to... Are you going to broadcast that at all tomorrow? We, we will be doing a live, yes. Okay, great. Yeah. That's good Absolutely. to know. And yes. we'll probably be there as well. And there you yeah. see it on your screen again. That's 2 p.m. tomorrow. Chief, thank you so much. And talk uh, just a little bit more. You said you were going to be talking to the U.S. Attorney. How critical is that um, sort of cooperation between agencies? Mm -hmm. um, Absolutely. So cool. as equally important as having a relationship with our community, it's having a relationship with our partners in the industry. Mm -hmm. And the U.S. Attorney uh, assists us with prosecuting all of our federal cases. And we have a phenomenal relationship uh, with all of our federal partners, which is kind of unique right now because historically there's been kind of a, a strain between local, state, and federal law enforcement agencies. Mm -hmm. But I'm super proud at that relationship that we have and all the hard work that our men and women do every day to protect and serve. Well, it's a tough job that you have, <laughs> and but a lot of good things are happening in Thank Caldwell you. right now. And so that's what we're here to highlight today. The good that's mm -hmm. happening on the community because yes, we do have to report on the bad and what's going on, but there's a lot of good stuff happening too. And it's important to mention that every day. That's why we do the good news segment here. <laughs> well, I appreciate Seven. KTVB yeah. highlighting all the good news. Oh, well, thank you. We, we want to so. do that. We want to do that. We have to do it all, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Appreciate it.